All right, you guys cool with the new uh, lighting? All right, cool. New setting, cool. All right. So, <clears throat> Indiana Jones is one of the most popular characters, like, in film history, basically. Um, uh, so I thought it'd just be fun since, you know, I'm ranking everything. Just, just go ahead and just rank on the Indiana Jones films. Because there's only four of them, so it's not like there's a lot. There's, like, 16, like I did before. So, with four films. So, yeah, let's just go right on into this thing. Start off with the worst one, is obviously... Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, it's terrible. <laughs> I want to categorize it that there's like, you can tell they were maybe trying to come up with something good in this film, because I can see they could have been trying to do that. But it just ended up, it just didn't work. <laughs> it, was, it was just, I didn't have a lot of fun watching this movie as much as I did the first two, the first three. I'm a, and yeah, I'm one of those people who loves Temple of Doom. I just do. It's the first Indiana Jones movie I saw. But yeah, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, though, it's just, it's boring, you know? Because any, because any, he doesn't get hurt like at all. You know, you know in the other films how he always got hurt and stuff in some way, form, or so, or whatever. He always got hurt, and in this one, it's just like he, like he gets like maybe knocked down like once, and then the rest of the film is like Indiana Jones is invincible. Like he can do anything. He can get inside of a freezer that freaking explodes, and then it just lands on top of stuff, and then it's just like. And his house explodes and then he just like falls into this, um, a desert plane stuff. He was like, yeah, let's just say that he's fine. He, he's not dead. I mean, he's definitely a superhero now, right? Right. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. Um, uh, I don't particularly like this movie. Side, there's, could have been some good stuff with him of having any his kid in this, kid in this movie being played by Sia LaBeouf. Could have been really cool, really fun. But it's just, it just wasn't. And the alien aspect was just, it has not any in Jones. <laughs> that's Star Wars. Yeah, you can tell that's what George Lucas had a brawl in there, like, opening an alien. But yeah, so, I'd have to give that movie a D+. Plus. Next up is Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. Now, I actually really like this movie. This is the first indie movie I ever saw. And it was probably not the best one to see, because it is the one that's the most graphic, most gorgeous. Or just, like, strange hearts being ripped out in this movie, which is a little weird. But, yeah, it's just, like, I really like this one because, I don't know, it just has a nostalgia factor to it. I admit that's not as good as the first one, or even Last Crusade. But I do have a lot of fun with this movie. And he's fun in this, the little kid sidekick is really cool. Um, um, and the girl sidekick is pretty good, too. She gets a little annoying sometimes with a screaming 24-7, but it gets... Like, you get a, you, like, eventually get used to it. And the villains of this movie are really threatening, and I really like it. Also, like, the minecart chase scene kind of reminded me of Mario a little bit, and I just thought it was really funny. So, yeah, I see. I really like this movie. I think it's really fun, really enjoyable. And so I'd probably give Temple of Doom a B plus, yeah. So that's a big difference from King of, um, Kingdom of Crystal Skull, that's for sure. So next up is Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade. Now, a lot of people think The Last Crusade is the best film. I think it's very good with him. With Andy having his dad in the mix and stuff, and you know the Nazi going like, against Nazis, which was always fun to watch. Um, uh, and it just—it's a lot. Of, it's a really fun movie. It's also really funny because the banter between Andy and his dad—it's just—it's just funny to me. I just—I like it. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just like this is a really good film, but it's just like I don't like it as much as the first one because I just don't. But I do think it's very good, very entertaining, very fun. Like all the action in it, especially the tank chase scene, which was a lot of fun. And Sean Connery does a great job as Andy's dad in this. So yeah, so I'd probably give Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade an A. Next up is, actually first, is any is Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark, or some people just call it Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, uh, this film is perfect. <laughs> this is one of those films I think is perfect. Right next to Jurassic Park. And maybe like T2, it's just like one of the it's quintessential films that you just, if you really want to get into movies, watch Raiders because it has everything good about it, especially for action films. It has great action and it, it has great humor in it, it has great dialogue. The villains are cut, are like cookie cutter villains, but you know, they're, they are, they're so versatile. But yeah, it's just like, this movie didn't want to start at all. It was a lot of fun, really enjoyable. And I don't really have any problems with this movie. And you're just a lot of things that a lot of other things that pop culture took away from. Even though this film did take a lot from some of the older films from like the 30s and 40s. But yeah, so I think this film is very good, very great. And I don't think it's like, I wouldn't like say it's like my favorite film of all time, but it's definitely in my top 10. So I give Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark an A+. Now tell me in the comments below what you thought this week and tell me how you feel about the new setting that's trying out different things here. So I'll see you guys next time and bye bye.